What's up? Marty Schwartz here, nextlevelguitar.com. A pleasure, once again, to share some of uh, the things I've learned on my personal journey of guitar exploration. Okay, so what I wanted to talk about, um, you know, I did some other funk lessons, and, uh, you know, I, I consider myself just kind of like a contemporary guitar player, not necessarily like just a funk guitar player, but, um, you know, I love anything that's got soul, groove music, R&B, um, blues, funk, kind of jazzy stuff. But um, so basically, what I was thinking for this next lesson is to talk about um, some some funk that's minor. Um, and I'm gonna be in B minor. So basically, we just call this funk in B minor. And I'm using the the root that's on the seventh fret on the E string here. Okay. So there's. Uh, you know, there's a lot of chords, there's a lot of little devices, but um, the basic premise uh, that I'll talk about right now is um, instead of playing this entire B minor bar chord, which, I, you know, sounds great, I love, I love that. Instead of that, I'm going to just kind of forget about the, uh, the lowest three strings, and I'm going to take my first finger and cover the, the high E, the B, and the G string like this. Just like that and so right away now you have just kind of like the higher end or the higher spectrum there of the guitar because um, a lot of times in funk you don't want to be m muddy um, especially if you're you know some funk bands have a horn section and the organ player and you know all this stuff so you don't really want to be stepping on lots of toes so with the guitar um, it's nice to kind of play some of the, the higher notes okay so I'm, I'm covering that and that right there can be uh, you know, you can just groove on that. A little slide in. Um, but but what's really cool from there is um, there's there's lots of different colors that we can add. Um, one thing you can do is just kind of think of the you know uh, big shock, the minor pentatonic scale. But you know, holding that, so you could be like. That was all just kind of ideas, you know, with the minor pentatonic scale. Uh, but here's some really just, you know, cool things I've learned from different songs and different uh, different players. Um, one thing, and this is probably the most kind of standard minor funk thing you can do, is you hold that. Same thing again. I'm going to put my pinky on the tenth fret on the B string, and then I'm going to play these top three strings here. And what that gives me is a B minor seven. Okay, but one of the, uh, you know, it, you've, you've heard this in a lot of songs, is from my pinky, I'm going to go a half step down on that same string to my ring finger on the ninth fret, and you can switch between those. Now, I could start with this one and, and move up with my pinky, or the opposite, have my pinky and go down. And so, let's see, I'll start with my pinky and go down, and you can hear what that sounds like. And you can refer back to one of the other uh, funk lessons I have uh, where I'm talking about um, relaxing my left hand to get the muting and then squeezing my hand down to get that staccato uh, sound. But so uh, here it is again, pinky to the ring finger, um, a quicker one. So that's one right there. Here's the opposite, the ring finger up to the pinky. So uh, real quick, um, you know, rhythm is, is the key in funk. I mean, you could be funky with just one note. So it's really going to be the feel. Um, it's going to require a lot of listening to the stuff that you think is, is funky. 
because it's it's more about the the feel and the attitude you know Err, get your funk face going um but so basically you know just to give you a starting point if you're trying to learn this stuff for the first time um i'm just kind of swinging my right hand Now, I'm just kind of just feeling it naturally. I never had a teacher go, you know, do exactly this. Um, I've had some great teachers, but um, basically, you know, you, your playing's always evolving. So for me, I'm just kind of breaking down what I'm doing, um, but it just requires you to dig in and do it a lot. So I'm s swinging this, and I can even hold the shape here with my left hand um, and not squeeze down on the chord. So I'm doing the chord. All I have to do is just squeeze with my left hand here. Okay, here's what here's what that would sound like if I was just squeezing the chord the whole time. Now here it is where I'm relaxing my left hand. kind of a basic breakdown of the rhythm. I'm going to show a couple other things that I just like. They're just some of my favorite little devices um, in this spot. Um, this one gets a little bit on the smoother side um, and it would be called a B minor 9 and all that means is I'm taking this little B minor 3 note chord here which you you know three notes you call it a triad and I'm going to take my ring finger and put it a whole step higher then the root on the high E string. And that's called a B minor nine. That is a really cool chord. There, um, you know, like if it's really cool. Like I mean, even if you just strum it and let it ring out, that's got a really nice atmosphere to it. You know, nice for intros. You know, and you got, you know, in a band setting, you know, maybe the bass player is playing just this killer funk bass line, and you don't want to just go right in with, you know, all your fancy guitar stuff. You want to let, you know, set a different kind of mood. You can just ring that minor nine out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sounds really, really nice. But then, you know, you can do a, you know, staccato funk groove with it, too. And I like this one sliding into it from a half step. And for some reason, um, it sounds really good. And you've heard this in songs where you slide it up a half step too, um, and that would here's an example of that. That was a nice little, nice little thing that I like to do. All right, once again, this was uh, Marty Schwartz with NextLevelGuitar.com. Uh, I hope you got something out of that. Um, you know, I'm just expressing my joy of the groove. So anyway, come come by the site NextLevelGuitar.com uh, for lots more lessons and uh, any anything else that you're curious about. Uh, appreciate it. Take care.